Have you ever been told anything that stuck with you? Something you remember when you're struggling, when you're emotionally drained, like a magical spell? I do. In high school, the person I liked said them to me. I often remember that even as an adult. Actually, I always liked you! What? On graduation day, I happened to see the most popular boy in school confessing his feelings to her. I knew a lot of people liked her, but yeah. I saw how good they looked together and couldn't help but give up on my own feelings. Of course, we don't match. I came from a family of farmers, and we were definitely not rich. I had no confidence back then. I looked at my palm. My finger had healed from its stress fracture, but it was a little bigger than before. I couldn't tell her how I felt, but the words she gave to me, I'll never forget them. We grew distant after graduation. That was my first love. Umai-kun, give me another karage bento box. Today's bento was yummy ipe. Okay, haha. <laughs> Is that slang? A few years later, I, Ipe Umai, was 27, running a bento shop on a market street. Umai, is she here now? A very good looking man appeared next to my customer. I swallowed at his presence. She, she's in the kitchen. What? I, the president, made time, but. Again? It's always like this now. That's her job, so. I know that, but. I haven't seen Masuchan at all recently! I wanna talk to her! He started throwing a fit. Actually, this happened every time. Whoa, whoa, I chan chin up! Wanna talk to me? Oof, I love a ripened lady man, but I want Masuchan. What the heck is a lady man? This is Teruo Aishi. He runs a company called Top Publishers. Strange name. Oh well, I'll come again tomorrow, so tell her I said hi! Please be on your way. I shooed him away. I heard a small laugh next to me. Oh, sorry about the fuss. No, no. You haven't changed. I haven't changed? Umai-kun, right? Do you remember me? Your high school classmate, Iyo Uruwashi. Uruwa-san? My first love? A grown-up Uruwa-san was in front of me. I rubbed my eyes. It was real. Wh why are you here? I had no idea. My company moved to the area. I wanted to buy a bento and found this place. Coincidence! Uruwa-san bought a bento box and left. I was so nervous. Uruwa-san came to the bento shop every day after that. I want to buy lunch today, so I came. But you weren't here. On a break? Yeah, I have other jobs like the farm, so I leave this place to my sister at lunchtime. I'm usually here in the afternoon. I see. You're busy. Did you grow these vegetables? Uruwa-san pointed at the box next to the counter. There were a bunch of tomatoes in it. Yeah, I leave her vegetables here as a sort of advertisement. You can't find these at markets. I make cherry tomatoes and regular tomatoes. They are both bright pink and heart-shaped. I named them Lovey Dovey Romantic Tomatoes. Let's not talk about my naming skills. I'll give you a pack of cherry tomatoes for free. They were sweet, so the girls and kids like them. cook on weekends, so I don't get enough veggies. <laughs> Uruwa-san did look tired. Actually, I felt like she looked more and more tired every time she came. You seem off. Is work hard? Hmm? Yeah. Um, the president's son became my boss. He's been pestering me. Uruwa-san works at a printing company. The president's son is selfish, and all the employees are struggling with it. He keeps asking me to go out. I talked to upper management, but it's not so easy to deal with. That sucks. Then... Huh? 
the door swung open, and Eo jumped at the sound. Whoa, whoa. I thought you were taking a while and came in. But what is this? This place is gross. An obviously arrogant man sauntered in. Was he the president's son? Uruwa-san, you shouldn't be in this gross shop. Let's get out of here and go out for dinner. Sudo-san, I'm sorry. I like this place. I want to eat the food here. What? I know that the food at this dirty shop has to be bad for you. Let's go. The man was persistent. Uruwa-san seemed hesitant. You're making her uncomfortable. Can you refrain from bothering my customers? I grabbed his shoulder to stop it. He frowned and slapped my hand away. <laughs> Tch, you stained it. Don't touch my beautiful body, you peasant. This is my shop. She's a customer. I'll call the cops if you cause any more trouble, alright? I'm unhappy. I'm the president's son, you know? Going against me. You'll regret it. I'll see you tomorrow, Uruwa-san. The man spat on the floor and left. That's not a very beautiful thing to do. I gotta clean that. That's the son, Narushi Sudo. Sorry, it's my fault. No, it's his fault. He seems like a lot. Yeah, I have no power at work so I can only take it. And he holds grudges. He might do something. Uruwa-san seemed worried. She would be proven right. Hey, the bento I bought last time was so cold I couldn't eat it. How dare you take people's money when it's not even good. Ever since Narushi came, the shop was getting bad reviews. Sudo-san kept coming for a while after, but I would quickly defend Uruwa-san, so he stopped. In his place, suddenly a bunch of complaining customers came. It became harder for other customers to come, so we got less. Our sales this month were terrible. <laughs> Everyone's gone. It's that guy's fault, right? Let's end him. My little sister, Masako, was at her wit's end. My bento's taste bad? <sighs> he has some nerve trying to fight a chef. Masako used to be a chef, but she had resigned. Now, she helps support the shop. Yeah, you can't do anything? I hate that people are insulting Masachan's food. Wait, why did you come out of the box? Boxes are the perfect disguise to surprise your enemies. I want to hide under them sometimes. Masachan can't come in with me. Go home! Well, this shop is running on more than just the bentos, so it's okay. Our regulars understand and said they would help if needed. I looked at my palm. It was rough and the fingers were fat. It was not a pretty hand. But I don't like people insulting Masako's food either. He uses people to harass us. We knew his time was almost up. That's why we had to just let him do it for a while. Uh. Uruwa-san felt bad about it. She tried to pass by the shop without saying anything. Miss, you forgot to stop by. Uh. Aishi-san spoke out to her. Uh, when does he do his job as CEO? Don't worry, come in. Son, this super persistent guy won't go home. My brother said he had errands, so I'm glad you're here. Masachan, it's me, Teruo Aishi. Call me Aichan. Ooh, he's so creepy. Uruwa-san seemed uncomfortable to be between the two of them. that I'm causing all this trouble. I thought I should stop coming. I think Sudo-san will stop bothering you all then. I son Masako looked surprised. What? I think Umai will be sad. Wait, 
She's the girl Uma used to like, right? Uruwa-san's eyes widened. Masako nodded. Yeah, his first love from high school. Man, my brother's getting rejected again. <sighs> Rest in peace. What? What? What do you mean? We mean that Itpei likes you. What are you two talking about without me? It became awkward, and Uruwa-san left quickly after buying a bento. She said she would come again, though. Umaikun's family farms, right? That's not so common around here. Oh, that's why his hands are all blistery and dark. They're like grandpa hands. Memories from high school. The farms in our town were turning into residential areas. People thought it was sad that I worked on the farm instead of joining a club. They looked at my hands sadly. That's not true! I think it's amazing that Umai-kun's family supports all of our livelihoods. And I... Hey, what's the meaning of this? Ugh. A few days later, I fell asleep at work when someone came in. I had been dreaming. We're not open yet. Lunch is until 2 p.m. and we open again at 5 p.m. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't come to buy. What did you do to my company? Sudo-san was in a rush. He scrambled inside. I think I understand. Top publishers cut their contract? Someone gathered all the evidence that you've been harassing us and gave it to the president. Top Publishers President is a regular here. Aishi-san's company was a publishing company. He worked with several printing companies including Uruwa-san's. Harassing? Ha! Huh, how stupid! Do you even have proof? I was going to hand over the complaining customers to the cops, so they admitted everything. You posted on social media that you'd pay them and made them complain. Sudo-san used his company in his own name to gain trust from the people he recruited. That meant he leaked his own information. It wasn't just careless, it was dumb. B but that's not it! Other companies have also stopped working with us! Uh, are they all regulars? There's no way! There is. Many of the regulars got to know him through his company. Aisha-san appeared. He had been shopping with Masako. I brought a regular I met on the way. He owns a fancy restaurant. Umai's vegetables are not available in markets, so you have to talk to him directly. My company works with writers, and had Umai supervised before. Company? Vegetables? What? This bento shop is run by the agricultural corporation Umai Farms. Have you ever heard of lovey-dovey romantic tomatoes? I thought they were popular on social media. Sudo-san's face went pale. I guess he has heard of them. They became popular for being photogenic, but they taste good too. No way! You created a company to save your family's farm, and it was a super success! Yep, that's us. This man here is the CEO. N no way! My company's tomatoes are my own, and you can only get them through me. Or you can buy what we sell at the shop, so people who want them often come by here. A lot of people ended up liking our bentos, so we have a lot of upper class regulars. It also helped that Aishi-san advertised to make Masako notice him. Oh, your company receives offers for restaurant menus too, right? Then you might have a lot of the same clients as us. I'm not sure though. So that means... Sudo-san realized I had nothing to do with it, and he was confused. The door opened. Sudo-san? The president was looking for you. He wants to talk to you, but you won't pick up. Uruwa-san, you rejected me, so look what happened. Why? What's wrong with me? Do you like him because he's a CEO? I'm supposed to become a CEO soon, too! Sudo-san was desperate. 
Uruwa-san looked at him coldly. I've respected him since high school, and I like him. Huh? He comes from a family of farmers. I heard that they struggled a lot in high school. In school, Umai-kun always studied vegetables. He spent years perfecting. To create the tomatoes he has now. Then he started this company to protect his family. There's no way, no way I couldn't fall for the hard-working, thoughtful Umai-kun. She smiled proudly. I remembered a memory from high school. I like Umai-kun's hands. I heard them in passing. She had said it in front of me once too. When we were picking up papers from the floor and our hands touched, I had pulled my hand away quickly because I was embarrassed. That's when she had said it. Warm words that weren't from pity or sympathy. Magic words I'll never forget. Why won't it... Why won't it go well? Sorry, Kuma. Even though you helped me out. After high school, I entered college to study agriculture. I tried and failed and tried again to improve my vegetables. But it wouldn't go well. I was about to give up. Every time, I looked at my college hands and thought of the words Uruwa-san said to me. I graduated college, became a working adult, and finally created what I had dreamed of. Thank you, Uruwa-san. Your words always lifted me up. You told me you liked my hands, so I believed I could do anything with them. I like you too. The words I had kept inside me for so long, Uruwa-san seemed happy to hear them. What? That's crazy! Uruwa-san, you pay for this. You're fired! Well, if you say you'll talk to the president and be my girlfriend instead, I could rethink this. Wait, Uruwa-san works in the office, right? You can work at my company. Quit that company of yours. Let's use our connections. Ai-san didn't hesitate to offer. Sudo-san was at a loss for words. Wow. A lame measuring contest. You're just a son of the president. Shouldn't you talk to your father first? I don't think you should be doing this right now. Oh, oof. Sudo-san let out a groan and ran out of the shop. Masako tossed some salt his way as he left. No matter what Sudo-san said to his father, the crime had been committed. Sudo-san's orders to the actors and his conversations were all in the record. I submitted my report to the police, and he was arrested. I was stupid for expecting anything from you, and you took money from the company. I needed money to hire people. Wait, give me, give me a chance. He was fired and about to be cut off from his family. Sudo-san's father came to my company to apologize. He went around to other clients to explain and apologize, so he saved some contracts. The people who work there did nothing wrong. Ai-san and the other regulars were understanding of that. One seaweed bento, please. Okay. Uruwa-san still works at that company. She said it was easy to be there without Sudo-san. I tried cooking with the tomatoes I bought here. I've been loving cooking lately. Wanna see? Yeah, but if you learn to cook, maybe you won't come by here anymore. What are you saying? You have to ask her out yourself. Oof. It was high school graduation. Uruwa-san was rejecting someone because she already liked someone else. She tried to find me, but I was already back home. I didn't go to the reunion because I was busy. The feeling was mutual, but we kept missing each other. Uruwa-san, will you go on a date with me? Yes, of course! Then, Masuchan and me can get some expensive sushi. Ah! Uruwa-san squeezed my hand. I squeezed hers back with the hand she had said she liked. I could keep going because of the words she said to me. I overcame and got to where I am now. One day, my words, actions, stories. I hope they can move someone too. I hope. Hello everyone, it's Brittany. Um, I've never heard tomato 
knows how the romantic group before, but hey, they are red and cute. All right, I'll see you guys in the next story. Bye-bye.